Sementara itu, Datuk Seri Najib kemudiannya melancarkan buku laporan Malaysia 2010 di Ibu Negara. Buku berkenaan dihasilkan dengan kerjasama Unit Perancang Ekonomi Jabatan Perdana Menteri dan Oxford Business Group OBG. Buku ini mengandungi maklumat penting dan terkini berkaitan suasana ekonomi Malaysia, dasar ekonomi kerajaan, model ekonomi baru serta rancangan Malaysia ke-10. Pihak Oxford Business Group akan memasarkan buku berkenaan ke seluruh dunia. Ini kerana buku berkenaan dilihat platform terbaik untuk pelabur luar mengetahui mengenai keadaan ekonomi Malaysia dan peluang pelaburan yang ditawarkan oleh negara kita. Dan bersama kita sekarang bagi mengetahui lebih lanjut kepentingan laporan Malaysia 2010 ini ialah pengurus editorial Oxford Business Group, Stephen Haig. Stephen Dyke Hosen. Yes. Hello Stephen. Welcome Hi, to our you. studio. All right. This is an annual report. That's correct. So what's yeah. different? Yeah. Well, basically, no, it's, it's a fair question. I mean, there's, there's a lot of reports around the world, a lot of reports about Malaysia. What's, most reports from the World Bank or IMF will cover the macroeconomic situation, but there's few reports that really cover the business situation from, from the perspective of a businessman. I mean, where mm -hmm. should we invest? Where are the opportunities? Where are the challenges? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and also, how, how does that tie in with current legislation, current developments in the market, uh, what other companies are doing? Mm -hmm. So in that sense, this is not just another report. Um, which which is extremely flattering about Malaysia. It, it is very honest. Uh, right. It's not a promotional brochure uh -huh. either. Uh -huh. it's, okay. it's a very credible uh, book about Malaysia, about business. Mm -hmm. so. And and um, of course, this book will going to be uh, been sold throughout the world That's globally. Right. Yeah. And and of course, for us, this is a tool for to entice uh, investment. To Malaysia. So, what's the angle for Malaysian as an investment destination yeah. written in the book? It's interesting actually because whereas perhaps in the last couple of years, I mean, it was very much about capital accumulation for Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I think what the NEM made clear is that the, those days are, are essentially over. So, the, <laughs> the angle for Malaysia, uh -huh. you know, is it, obviously Malaysia can't compete the way it did before or it can't compete for investment the way mm -hmm. it did before. The, the angle right now is, is is in is in other areas. It's in other sectors. It's much more about the downstream. It's much more about the value add. Mm -hmm. um, it's much more about the you know, uh, about commercialization, about innovation. Mm -hmm. So the, mm -hmm. there are, there are basically new areas where there's or basically has been uh, mm -hmm. under investment from the private sector because these opportunities weren't there before. Okay. So, so uh, what are the new areas or the new sectors being covered this time around? that had not yet been covered last year. Yeah, this, I, I this saw this ECR, this is new, right? That's new. Yeah, yeah that's new. Yeah. We've 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 covered we've been covering the corridors, but we think that this year ECR is, mm. is taking off. Mm -hmm. uh, that they've been very serious about their investment promotion and they offer a, a, a completely different um, package, a different uh, strategy, mm. you know, and basic incentives for mm. investors. Same with Iskandar as well. It's 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 a different story. So mm. I mean th this year what what's new about this year? I mean mm. we this is the fifth book that we've done about Malaysia. Okay. So uh, What's new about this year is that there's new focus, there's new sectors. We look at innovation. Mm -hmm. We look much more at, for example, plantations at the downstream, uh, you know, at, at the <coughs> industrial clusters. Yes. Uh, for example, in the energy sector, there's, there's a lot of underinvestment that that can be addressed by the private sector. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's there's a lot of new angles, a lot of new information. And and um, among those new uh, sectors, and and. Uh, not the old, but the main sectors that mm -hmm. are available for, throughout the years. What are, what's the most significant sector that uh, you think would entice investors to Malaysia? Yeah, I think, um, well, there are, there are several different, it, it's, the, the, there's many different areas where investors can come in. So, so some are, are, are the very large, very eye-catchy uh, you know, investments, um, mm -hmm. mostly, let's say, for, for example, in Islamic finance, in banking, you know, in, in these type of, but on the smaller, more micro level, there's significant underinvestment in innovation, in mm -hmm. commercialization of products, in SMEs. I mean, don't forget, 99% of companies in Malaysia are SMEs. SMEs. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's a lot of more micro investment that's possible there. Mm -hmm. And investment is not just uh, in terms of uh, the capital market, right? No, what, no. What yeah, it, it's both actually. Mm. We, we, we cover the capital markets, so mm. we cover the stocks and we cover the main companies on the, on the Bursa exchange. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I mean, it's a book for businessmen, so businessmen mm. that, that, that want to invest mm. and, and need to know about a sector, mm. about the plantation sector, about the energy mm. sector, about, mm. about the health industry, mm. about the education industry. Mm. And yeah. this report also been... Uh, 
in, in, in uh, collaboration with the EPU, Unit Branch Economy, mm -hmm. as well as uh, our Prime Minister, our beloved Prime Minister, also written a piece on in the report, right? Yeah, that's, and, correct. Uh, that's correct. Okay, and of course, there are a lot of prominent business leaders, mm -hmm. Malaysian business leaders. So basically, uh, in, in a part of Malaysia, we basically uh, give a hundred percent support to it the publication of the report, this report. Yep. And how does this in turn uh, help to entice investors to, to uh, uh, I mean that, uh, how does this help to entice investors to the countries that you covered before? Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a good question. It, it mm. basically works both ways. I mean, mm. on the one hand, um, uh, companies need to know, uh, countries around the world need to know about Malaysia, about mm. what's going on if they want to invest here. Mm. But uh, f for example, if you look at our circulation, we have a huge circulation in, in the GCC and North Africa. Mm. These are Islamic countries that are very interested in Malaysia and they have access to the European markets mm. and they're mm. looking for linkages with Malaysia. Mm. So on both sides, um, of course, as a Malaysian, you would want to read your own book first. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's actually very interesting that, um, th that now, you know, basically a lot of our clients are buying books from, from the other countries to basically see what's happening there, to mm. look for new angles, mm. to look for new partnerships. So, so how, 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 how basic effective this is, as I, as I mentioned, how effective this is as a tool to, in, in to, to attract a lot, of, uh, a lot more investors to Malaysia. Because as I mm -hmm. said, uh, the government and the business leaders in Malaysia are all out to, to, to mm -hmm. ensure that this report being sold, I mean, being, being a, a reality. So mm -hmm. how effective this is, this is throughout these five years in Malaysia? And how mm -hmm. does this help the other country in other parts of the, part of the world to entice investors okay. to their rep uh, respective countries? Yeah. Well, the easy answer to that is basically that we produce 33 books per year around the world. Mm -hmm. And Malaysia for the past five years has always been in the top three selling books. Oh. So currently we have okay. a circulation of 100,000, uh -huh. um, which, is, which is one of the highest in our company. Mm -hmm. So the, the, there is a lot of interest in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it does help. Because, because investors are, are sophisticated people, mm -hmm. they, they don't just need a flashy brochure, flashy advertisement. They really have to know what's going on because they're, they're dealing with risk. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we provide them. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and basically our books are valid for an entire year. And mm -hmm. then of course we update it with, with mm -hmm. the new one after that. So. Okay, before we yeah. go to circulation, I would like to ask this simple question. Why, <laughs> why you need to purchase since you can Google it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you okay, we 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 sell them for 130 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but I mean, <laughs> it's 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 what you buy. It's it's basically what you pay for. You know, uh -huh. uh, if if you Google it, you know, you you'll see what everybody gets, and that's the same old story. Mm -hmm. And it's free, so the 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 quality is not is is not guaranteed. Whereas you know, if it's it's the same as anything else, you know, mm. you 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 get what you pay for. Mm. So, and and yeah. coming back to the circulation, how's the circulation like? You you say that Malaysia is the top three yeah. bestseller that's report. That's right, that's right. right. So, uh, to, to how many countries have been selling our report to? <laughs> oh, well, wow. that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you how many, you know, we, we, we sell uh, the majority to the Middle East and Europe, actually. Uh -huh. So, that, that takes up about 50% of all the subscribers. And then okay. the rest are shared between uh, Asia and also North America. So, these, but basically our strongest circulation is, is in the GCC, is in North Africa, and is in Europe, which uh -huh. is quite interesting. Um, and I guess probably if we, if we look at a trend, we, we should probably be expecting to see more books being sold actually in the region because there's much more regional business going on. So oh, probably that will be picking okay. up hopefully in, in, you know, over the next few mm. years as Malaysians invest in Indonesia, mm. as Singaporeans invest in Malaysia, you know, as, 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 more, as, as more interlinkages within ASEAN. So, mm. but, but for now, it's, it's very much the, the interest is driven by European mm. and by uh, Arab investors. And so. what is that? Why is that? Well, I guess Malaysia probably has done a good job marketing itself uh, there in the first place. Uh -huh. <laughs> but also because, um, well, if, if you look at Malaysia, uh, you know, right now, it's, 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 it's extremely fortunate in that it's the most stable and, you know, and the most progressive country in Southeast Asia. It doesn't have the same problems that, that the neighbors have. So it, it stands out immediately. Uh -huh. But I also think Malaysia has been consistently one of the best performers here in the region, uh -huh. uh, oh, basically over the last 50 years. It will go mm -hmm. Growth has averaged more than six percent uh, mm -hmm. since 1957, mm -hmm. whereas you know in, in other countries there's been political upheaval and there's been a lot of other problems. Mm -hmm. So Malaysia has that legacy which really plays in its favour. So that will probably be one of the one of the first considerations for an investor, and mm -hmm. then comes all the rest, the opportunities right. which you'll have to read mm -hmm. in our book. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and and of course, how, um, I think this is my my last question. How do you gather all the information from? 
Yeah, we, uh, we work with partners. So uh -huh. f first of all, we work with the economic planning units, uh -huh. and they're fantastic. They, they know the stats, and they know very well what's mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. But we don't just talk with the government. I mean, mm -hmm. we talk with the ministers, we talk with different government parties, mm -hmm. but we talk with the private sector as well. So we do mm -hmm. interviews. So we do hundreds of interviews every single year to find out the latest information, what's mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And then from that, we condense the and story. And this research being uh, been done throughout the year? Yeah, yeah, it's it's mm. it's done on a continual basis. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So well, we've we've just released uh, 2010, mm. but quite All soon right. we'll be starting uh, on the 2011 edition. Oh. All right, thank you very much, uh, Stephen. Yeah. Thank you very much for being with us. Itu tadi Stephen Dyke Hosen, yaitu uh, pengurus editorial Oxford Business uh, Oxford Business Group, dan kita akan teruskan dengan berita seterusnya.